So what's going on, everybody, on YouTube? So what's going on, everybody, on YouTube? This is Very Melon Man. And we're going to do some My Rise mode starting today. I have this wrestling game. I might as well get the most out of it as I can. And I would have done another round of My GM with some... But, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do my, another round of my GM in the middle of this, but right now, I'm just using my rise. Do you want to create a new My Rise Superstar? If so, please select which WWE division you want to complete in the process. <laughs> Will begin. So I'd like to officially division. welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's going to be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out, Superman punch! That shovels an equalizer. Spear, spear. This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. So, yeah. For the this last cool, couple of WWE games, there's no way my journey ends here. for what I've play, seen from WWE other Let's Players, this is more or less what the Performance Bro, Center sure actually what does are you look doing? like. You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. Or at least this is similar enough to how it would look like in real life. Checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Frick. Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. And from here, we can begin to bring our character down the, f the heel or face route. Or the fan favorite bad guy route, if you are playing of my GM. But yeah, I'm just going to be a softie here. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh... Definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Imp Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, <sighs> which you should have been told by security. Freaking Todd. Turn it off, please. So I confess, before I turned on these subtitles, I genuinely thought that lady said the F word. <clears throat> so, you have one of four backgrounds to pick from. MMA, a gritty bot battle tested cage fire. You oh, you know how to handle yourself in just about any situation, but no opponent or train can't compare to this challenge. Will you stand out and become the next MMA to W success story? Or tap out under the pressure of the WWE universe? Pro athlete. After making it to the highest levels of college professional football, your great hiding career ran its course, you're looking for a new challenge. Will your athleticism and years of training in one sport translate to another, or will you discover that the challenge of becoming a WWE superstar is far is too much to tackle? Indy, after training under two-time WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, how did the Hall of Fame twice? Did they really Dutch you as Booker T and then King Booker? Really? Okay, so Booker T was inducted to the Hall of Fame once by himself, 
and then he and his brother Lash were introduced together as Harlem Heat. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Fine. <clears throat> you paid your dues on the indie scene. I'm not against being inducted to the Hall of Fame multiple times. I'm just confused at why Booker T was as famous enough to do that. You paid your dues on the indie scene, honing your craft until WWE scouts took notice. That you put yourself on the small stage, the spotlight will get bigger. Do you have what it takes to make the jump from any prospect to the next CM Punk? And finally, actor. The television and movies, you've made a living entertainment, but have yet to break out and become the star you believe you're destined to be. With a chip on your shoulder and something to prove, will you flip the script to get your big break on the bright lights of the W universe? Okay. So your four backgrounds come with four separate buffs to what you can do in the ring. MMA background gives you bonus to arm power, leg power, and technical submission. Bro athlete background gives you bonuses to agility, body durability, and grappling offense. Indy gives you bonuses to aerial offense, grapple reversal, and technical submission. And finally, actor gives you bonuses to recovery, movement speed, and stamina, which I guess makes sense depending on what, like, pro athlete does make sense. After kind of makes sense, you need enough stamina and ability to recover from a bad script ring in order to save the show. MMA also kind of makes sense. Basically, here's the thing: you don't really have that much control over how your your like uh, career mode, my rise character is going to look that much. You won't be able to like make Scorpion, Sub Zero, um, Peacemaker. Etc. You're going to choose a pre made template. So, if you're confused with what background you want, just think about what moves you want to give your character and then focus on those. R Truth's an actor? Really? Mm, let's see. Like for example, if you want your you want to, if you want to play a technical submission based character, MMA. If you're more of a striker, go for pro athletes. I want my first guy to be like a powerhouse. Supple force of nature. The raw power produces earth shattering strikes and bone crushing grapples. Cruiserweight powerhouse. Light heavyweight powerhouse. Uh, strength, stamina, agility. Oh, okay. High strength, low. High strength, high stamina, high agility. Low defense, apparently. The striker heavyweight looks like this. The technician heavyweight looks like that. The heavyweight high flyer looks like this. But that's the powerhouse. Okay. So these are the clothes you can pick for a wrestler. 
And these are your classic indie red trunks. Now you look like a god dang luchador. I like it. Wrestling Plague Doctor might just take it. But I don't want my face covered up completely. From the future. From where? From the past. Good lord, some of these gimmicks are something Vincent May would dream of. This one could work as a convincing superhero or even supervillain under some guises, which is probably what we want. Oh my god! actually there. Huh. 
it here um All right. Be a hero to the black. Abbreviate name, entrance themes. If you use name is too long, use a abbreviate name.
Black. Captain America. Can I put that in there? Alright. Alright. This is old and fat. I'm black and fat. But yeah, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I really don't know. I'm really sorry you have to hear whatever else you're going on. Let's, uh, there, there we go. Okay, looks a bit better. Entrance attire in the same slot. Okay. Honestly, given how heavily costumed I am, I don't see the point in a jacket. Wow, this is actually going to take a long time, huh?
the actual Isaiah Bradley does live in New York. That should do it. All right, there you go. We'll accept that as our side plates. Let's. Quick customized Superstars Entrance Victory Taunt Signature and Finisher. Generic victory. Yeah, sure. World's strongest. Yeah, sure. Fighting spirit. Oh, end of days, okay. I think that'd be hilarious to have my heavyweight character doing that. <laughs> Let's use this as our finisher and <laughs> Oh my god, I can't apologize enough for having to hear that. Jesus Christ.
You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Hmm, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, she's gonna be a bit of a pain, but you know what? She would have to be to be on this job. Listen to some guy. One from the top rope, ringside corner, one is not down. Yeah, basically. This is my Rise Hub. You can discover new story opportunities from here by talking to people within this hub or by applying to posts and direct messages in your social media feed. Map fans, you have a show in the top left corner of any hub. You can gain more fans to complete storylines and winning matches. The more fans you have, the more storylines you will be able to access. Alright, so we're hoping we'll talk to you. Press triangle access to my Rise Hub menu. There you can go to your social media feed or travel to different locations in order to find new storyline opportunities. New locations. My Rise Hub. Using this way to check your social media feed and travel to new locations. This is where you can customize your looks, interests, and where your attributes. So, this you can upgrade. Yeah, I'm sorry. All the attributes are categorized into different groups with 10 levels to each group. As you finish the runs, you'll gain upgrade points so you increase the group to higher level. Press the triangle as you see which is what attributes are tied to each group. This is such a useful you're looking at which group to upgrade on the very specific attribute. The 200 points are not something you start with by itself. What happens is that I bought the um, season pass. So on top of all the downloadable content, wrestlers I'll be getting months down the line. I got other stuff like the unlock, unlocking all the unlockables in the game. And bonus attributes to spend on like so but as you can see here because of the oh god that's some dark souls level of diminished returns of balance okay so so the first five points we spent striking grappling Defense, resilience, and we're going to go over running as well. Okay. So we'll spend those first five points getting ourselves to those two levels. Social media will be a big part of my rise. Social media posts appear in your social media feed and direct messages appear in your DM inbox. Mace Rhymes will kick off of conversations with social media posts or DMs. If you want to only display these kickoff conversations, use the stores filter. Okay. Stories filter, alright? It's way through different story entries. There's a lot of different to make choices on social media impact on the story and full. The choice affects the story branch to go down, which has helped you in more. Message is critical to the story automatically pop up any extra information we'll be waiting for you to uh, write the social media posts or DMs. Okay. Five new baby lambs in the farm, huh? Okay. Never compromise when others claim they're worth your time or not. Question, Becerra. Good. 
going to give it a lot of stance to add to it, I'm sure. So, give me air that gives delicious Rick Flair and Jerry Lawler. Okay. Head recruiter at the PC. I'm always looking for new talent, including anyone who's interested in looking at current security. Just had an all brand meeting with the GMs from the NXT SmackDown and Raw. The universe was saying stuff. Their best. Oh, Adrian Adam Pierce, Molly Rose. Pierce always setting up. And of course, the legend himself. I did not. I straight up have no idea. Yeah, All right. Basically, yeah, I did not know how to appreciate William Eagle growing up, but not enough for a fact that, um, not enough for a fact what he's like and how important William Regal really is to the business at large. <clears throat> Custom combos. All right, I'll just stay there. I'm not gonna focus on this too much because the, I'll just take and cut, get the move sets in as they go along. I don't have any moves I'm uh, like really in love with. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's just... Guess we'll start with the man hey, in front of us. Blue guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Yeah, no problem, Thanks. dude. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. <laughs> yeah, sure. American football. I chose football. American, to be clear. I had no interest in all that running they do in soccer. Plus, I love the physicality of football. To be honest, as an American, I, I think calling soccer football does make more here. sense. From a logistics point of view. I love playing football, but I just kind of got burnt out going from college to the pros and wanted a new challenge. I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling, and I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from football to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, oh, I was so you're an in indie star. You. Okay. Yeah. Well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from football or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. 
Uh, I wouldn't underestimate myself, buddy. Don't underestimate me just because I come from another sport. Besides, I wouldn't be the first wrestler to transition from football. Yeah, well, I kind of wish you were the last. You talk a good game, but when this is over, you'll be running back to whatever team you were cut from. I've never run away from a challenge, and that's not going to change now. Look, you know, I look forward to proving you wrong. Yeah, typical babyface dialogue, I admit. I don't feel like... Like, this is a Mass Effect I'm expecting. And there's always so many interesting voice lines you can give yourself when you're straight up, uh... There's a male and female version of this, so... Only so many voice dialogue options you can give yourself. The hub exit. Means you're interacting only leads to the exit. The current hub. You're in advance of story. Alright. I'm sure you got all you can... Let's select again. Let's chase then. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Oh, you're refer your Thanks. fan, Mike? You're a football fan? <laughs> no, not really. I just like your team's colors. Big purple fan. That'll be the color of my gear when I get to WWE. Yeah. But anyway, I actually have an athletic I think background too. Character with big I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Yeah. So yeah, you deserve to be here, buddy. Get your foot in the door. You wouldn't be here if you like wrestling. Me. More or I'll less, kind of operates on a nepotistic uh, uh, business good, model. Oh, the older guys here. have to help the new guys get up some way. Otherwise, they can today? just throw their weight around and keep anyone from getting into the business. Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, and you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase. Good luck in first day of training. Oh, hey, it's my old football coach. Second thought, you're right. I'm gonna grind this out. So you have reasonable justification for going heal. Interesting. Man, the problem with these kayfabe is real stories that WWE likes to do is that being a heel straight up would probably not make you anyone's favorite buddy in real life, if we're being honest. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stanford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, 
But ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here. As so he really should. Your talents. No, I don't I'm approve of the now. way Triple H yeah. manages to get ahead of him at times. But, but it's not your call. at the end of the day, he understood that this is a business okay. first and wrestling now second. That all that's out of the way, and we're unfortunately, start with some one -on -one matches or fortunately, see where at. that also means all that he knows right. exactly how to push new talent. Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Uh, let's take down the Paragon here. Okay, let's get started. Okay, good moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What are my combos? All right. Square, 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 X, square, square, circle. Look at the power of Isaiah Bradley. Ouch. Come on, Paragon J. Pierce. Wow. Can you do something to me? Can you stop yourself? No, you can't. All right, Batista bomb time. One, two, three. Mm. 
Nice. It's your biggest attack. Your ultimate end. Your big freaking end. What's up, Pierce? Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Uh, interesting that you're gonna admit that in front of the man upstairs. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Cause I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and really we'll really see what happens. Okay. And if I win, I just okay. Here's the thing. I think it already and... did, and we saw what happened. But. I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> Kayfabe is real. In these e-games, e it's real. Let's see. Head back to the old stomach grounds this week for a PC train. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, I'm not interested in anything more than professional and Alexa Bliss, in all honesty. This is the storyline confirmation prompt. It'll give you information of the storyline, including the potential rewards and completion. All right. Okay. So we'll get upgrade point and more fan rewards. Let's do it. Alright. 
target aid to shore. So we're switched out. So hey, we get to play as Lexa Bliss, and I like Asuka. Attack her, you... Nah. Too close. Okay. Get it up. I will say I I guess I'm just there's way more about as Oscar as a wrestler than I'm impressed by than I ever have been with Alexa Bliss. Those are Alexa Bliss's combos. Okay. And Garuzi X. Uh, choking STO. Eric. Okay. All right. Nah. Okay. Mascot. Huh. Interesting. 